Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Michelle with a Soul Purpose Activation. We are, do a, we are doing a general reading on the energy of you and your person, um, whether that is your Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine, whoever is on your mind right now. We're just gonna open up the channel and see what information comes through. Okay, so the overall energy of this reading is we've got reflection and quality time so your person and this may be because at the time of this at the filming of this video we are just a few days out from Valentine's Day your person is you're on their mind okay they are quietly and I don't know why I just heard this quietly maybe it's because you know they're not in contact with you maybe they're not texting you they're not sharing their thoughts you know, or communicating their thoughts with you, but they are quietly reflecting on uh, the time that you guys have shared together. They are reflecting on the past, reflecting on their own actions, just reflecting on actions and thoughts in general, just kind of evaluating things. They are in quiet reflection and they are thinking about uh, the quality time that the two of you have spent together in the past. Um, we will see what else um, what else this person like what action if any they're going to be taking what else does um, my viewer need to know what else does a collective need to know about the person on their mind now just remember you guys the energies could be reversed okay um, so just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This is a general reading I, I am. You can book a personal reading with me. Just check the description box for, um, and I have basic readings and I have very in-depth detailed readings. Basic readings are only 25 bucks, okay? Um, ooh, twin flame. You don't have to be or do anything for them to love you. Their higher self wants union as much as you do. Gosh, you guys, wow. So we know what energy your person is in. Okay, this is a mutual energy, and so this isn't something where it's like you don't have to worry about whether or not, you know, is this your, your energy I'm picking up on or is this theirs, okay? Um, this is mutual. So whatever energy I'm picking up on, if you're questioning whether or not it's yours or it's theirs, it's definitely theirs, okay? So if you don't believe in twin flame unions, although this is probably gonna be a twin flame rating, this definitely is gonna be more of like a divine soulmate type of thing. Um, not necessarily a karmic, although they, I'm sure, you know, if there has been a lot of ups and downs, challenges, you know, in this connection, more than likely, you know, relationships are our mirrors. They're here to teach us about what is deeply hidden within ourselves, within our subconscious. Um, that needs to be healed, okay? Because whatever is in our subconscious, that is our energy. Um, and you know, that, that our energy, our feelings are what we are manifesting. And so oftentimes we will connect with other people to um, help us see what is in our energy that needs to be healed, okay? But your person is definitely, they have, they feel a connection to you. And this is a deep connection. Again, this card says you don't have to do or be anything for them to love you. Their higher self wants union as much as you do. So like when it talks about their higher self, um, their ego, there may be something going on in the 3D that is, that is not in alignment with what their higher self is wanting. And that may just simply be because, you know, your person needs to be, uh, needs to heal as well. There are some things that needs to be healed within their own energy field and in their own subconscious in order for this align, in order for you two to be in alignment and for this union to happen on a functional level. Okay. Um, a lot of times with twin flame unions, especially if it's, you know, um, suppose, especially if the union happens before either is healed, it can be a very dysfunctional union because, you know, <laughs> wounds, um, energy blockages, stuff like that are being triggered in both people. And so, you know, you and your twin flame are showing up in a way where, um, it's very triggering for the other person. Okay. Um, let's get some more. What, what information does my viewer need to know about what is going on with their twin flame. 
All right, I didn't mean for this to turn into a twin flame reading, but that's the energy that wanted to come through. So, <laughs> um, your twin flame is definitely, they're thinking about you, okay? They are thinking about you. You are deep, deep on their mind. Deep on their mind. What does my viewer need to know? They want, they definitely are wanting to heal this connection and they're hard at work at something. Okay, so we've got the sun in reverse and then we also have that um, with along with the eight of pentacles. And so they are realizing that the fullness, like the full potential of this connection has not been able to be realized yet. Let's see what they're hard at work at. What is my viewers twin flame? What are they working hard at? And then we got the Knight of Wands. Mm. Okay. They're basically what they're doing, you guys, is they're working hard at being healing what needs to be healed within themselves. Okay, you may have a Leo on your hands. We got the Sun card here, and then we also have the Knight of Wands, which is fire energy. So definitely fire energy is coming through we do have pentacle energy so earth energy and water energy also coming through but fire energy is really dominating right now so um you know your person may have a lot of leo in their chart um otherwise possibly you know just a fire sign so you know leo aries sagittarius so they are just they're hard at work they really they really are wanting this connection to work, you guys. They are really wanting to be able to heal whatever caused a riff in this connection. Okay? Uh, because the Knight of Wands, I feel... So when the Knight of Wands came out, it didn't come out reversed and it didn't come out in, in the upright position either. I feel like they are kind of... So they want to take action... Wand energy is action energy. They want to take action, but something is holding them back. Okay, but they definitely want this connection. They want a union in this connection. We got the sun, you know, in reverse, and then we have the two of cups. So why are they why are they waiting? Why are they waiting? Why aren't they moving? Why aren't they moving? Yeah. They're dealing with, so we got the devil in reverse, and then we also have the chariot in reverse. This is what's got them stuck. They're dealing with their their shadows. They're dealing with their inner demons. Now, this, this energy is in reverse, and so it's not necessarily, like, whatever it is that you're used to. Like, if they've, I don't know what kind of a history you guys have with this person. I haven't tapped into that energy, but if they have had like if you've had experiences with this person where they may have cheated on you um lied to you did things that broke your heart broke your trust um that energy is passing because they are they are working on it we got the chariot here so it's like they're wanting to move forward but they're realizing they can't at this time and that makes a lot of sense why the sun is in reverse they realize how happy this connection can make them. How happy this connect connection can make the both of you. But they realize they have their own work to do. Okay, we got the devil in reverse here. The fact that it's in reverse, though, shows me that they have been working on this and that this energy is finally starting to dissipate. Okay, so whatever self-sabotage they've been in, whatever addictions, whatever um, unruly <laughs> behavior they are used to they're they're doing what needs to be done okay and they're not in haste like with the chariot in reverse they, they're stopping they're they are not you know they i get a feeling that maybe um they used to engage in a lot of distraction behavior distracting behavior in order to avoid their shadow or avoid their addiction or avoid their you know i'm hearing abandonment wounds within them they're not anymore 
I don't know if they're in counseling. I, I'm not sure what kind of work they're doing, but they are facing their shadow, you guys, okay? Um, that's why they're not coming towards you because they realize they're just, they're not ready. Um, they are still in the midst of, of healing whatever needs to be healed within themselves. And I'm not sure necessarily if, you know, they are consciously aware of this process that's going on or if it's their higher self that is keeping them from moving towards you because what I'm also picking up you guys um, this may be a fail safe for you as well because you may not be in a spot right now where if this person were to come back into your life you would have the um, what's the word that wants to come through you would have the the heart okay to turn them away the heart for yourself to turn them away um, and their higher self and your higher self knows that you know this connection has done I'm hearing enough damage I what that wasn't the word I was going to use but that's the word that came out that this connection has done enough damage to you and so right now whether or not this person is conscientious of it they are being prevented from coming towards you at this time because there is still some work in their energy that they're needing to go through there are still some lessons they're needing to learn um, and so that's why you're not hearing hearing from this person okay what else does does my beaver need to know the nine of wands in reverse there so their defenses are coming down, okay? Their defenses are coming down. When they when they approach you, because I do feel like at some point they're going to approach you guys again, okay? When they approach you, um, they're not going to be as guarded as they were. And then we got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. <laughs> they're having to deal with their... Okay, so they are, you guys, I do feel like they're not really... Um, no, I can't say that. They don't feel comfortable alone, okay um they don't feel comfortable in their own company they don't feel comfortable just sitting in their own energy that is something that they're having to learn how to do they're, they're and that's part of that devil that devil energy you know part of them um engaging in distracting behaviors in whatever way that they had chosen to do it in the past was because they they didn't like themselves very much there was something in their shadow that they were needing to that they're needing to face that they were running away from okay um they're facing that though we got the nine of wands in reverse with the nine of pentacles in reverse and so they're not guarded from their shadow they're not guarded against their shadow anymore they really are truly I'm not sure how, you guys. I don't know how this work is getting done. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if they're going to counseling. Uh, I don't know if they're seeking wise counsel from somewhere else. I don't, I'm not quite sure how they're doing it, but they're doing it, okay? They're not guarded against their shadow anymore. They're actually facing their fears. They're facing whatever is within them, okay? And I feel like this connection with you had something to do with it, all right? Um... Moving forward, what does, hold on, let's see what this person wants. What is this, okay, so what does my viewer, what, what does their twin flame want? What does my twin, what does their twin flame want? Oh, okay. Stabbed in the back and then not today. And this talks about heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack, not dealing. See, so they're not wanting right now. Okay, so it's like moving forward what you need to know. It's like right now in this month, the reason why they're not contacting you, you guys, is because they realize when they open up that door of communication with you, they're going to have to face something with you. Okay, something is going to have to be addressed and they're not ready to address it yet. Okay. Um, they're not ready to address whatever behaviors they have engaged in that caused you to feel heartbroken and in pain that may have caused um, this separation between the two of you. Okay, they're not wanting to deal with it at this time. So this person's energy, they are in deep contemplation. They are kind of in a place of healing right now. Not kind of, they are. But they're not ready 
to reestablish a connection with you quite yet, okay? So what can my viewer do in the meantime? Um, what can my viewer do in the meantime in their Twin Flames absence? We got um, death coming up with inevitable end, big transformation, shedding required, a dead end, okay? Why is death here for the past? So you need to put the past behind you, you guys, okay? Um, if, you're dwell if your mind, if your mental and emotional energy is constantly in the past, uh, you're not living your life, really. I mean, you can be out, you know, and living your life is not just action, you guys. So, I mean, you can be going through the motions, you know, but your mind and your feeling state and your emotions are still locked somewhere in the past about maybe what happened, what didn't happen. It, it's like it's hard for you to mentally and emotionally move on from the past. I mean, and you may, you know, be physically in the present, you know, doing things like, meeting up with friends, you know, participating in work and hobbies and stuff like that. But your mind and your heart, that energy, your mental and emotional energy is still stuck in the past. And you need to, <clears throat> you know, your mind and your heart needs to start living in the present. That way you're not just going through the motions, you're actually enjoying what you're doing in the moment, okay? Um, and it says mentally reliving the past, feeling nostalgic. So you guys are marrying each other because with they're also reflecting on the quality time that the two of you spent together. Um, and, you, you know, you may be hoping for them to return. And you also, it says the return of a past situation. So that may be something that you're actually fearing too. And you guys need to, you know, work on uh, releasing those fears because, you know, that's part of what you're going to continue manifesting. If you're fearing something, fear is a feeling state. And whatever it is you're fearing, okay, is exactly what's, is exactly what's going to manifest, okay? So in the meantime, uh, you guys, you need to work on really just letting go of the past, you know, this person, your person, your twin flame wants to heal, okay? They want to heal. They want to show up not only to you, but in their own life as a completely healed and different person. But as long as you continue to hold on to the version of them that you've had experience up to this point in time, um, it's going to be very difficult for them to move forward, okay? So do the shadow work, do the release and work that you need to around your experiences with them and let that version of them go. Just file it in the past. Okay. All right, you guys, that was your message. I hope that it resonated. If it did do me a favor, comment below. Let me know what you thought. Smash the like button, share and subscribe if you feel led to do so. And I will see you guys at your next reading. Thanks you guys.